Samuel Langhorne Clemens is better known as Mark Twain, the distinguished novelist, short story writer, essayist, journalist, and literary critic who ranks among the great figures of American literature. Clemens was born in Florida, Missouri in 1835 and moved during his childhood to Hannibal, Missouri on the banks of the Mississippi River. Young Twain reveled in life along the Mississippi, a river busy with steamboat activity, and he often traveled in makeshift rafts or cavorted in various swimming holes. But Twain's childhood was not entirely one of carefree play. His father, a lawyer, faltered with various business speculations, and when he died in 1847, Twain, then only 12 years old, ceased formal study and began apprenticing as a typesetter for local newspapers. He eventually came to work for his brother, Orion Clemens, who owned several newspapers. During this time, Twain dreamed of working on a steamboat. When I was a boy, there was but one permanent ambition among my comrades in our village on the west bank of the Mississippi River. That was to be a steamboatman. We had transient ambitions of other sorts, but they were only transient. When a circus came and went, it left us all burning to become clowns. The first Negro minstrel show that came to our section left us all suffering to try that kind of life. Now and then, we had a hope that if we lived and were good, God would permit us to be pirates. These ambitions faded out, each in its turn, but the ambition to be a steamboatman always remained. Eventually, Twain departed Hannibal and began several years of travel and continued writing for local papers. In 1857, Twain met a veteran steamboat pilot named Horace Bixby. Twain was greatly intrigued by Bixby, and for the next two years, he served as an apprentice, sailing with Bixby down the Mississippi. Twain was enraptured by the Mississippi and obtained his own pilot's license in 1859 and spent more time traveling up and down the Mississippi River. His exploits in this period, which Twain recalled with particular warmth and enthusiasm, eventually served as material for some of his most inspired writing. I love the profession far better than any I have followed since, and I took a measureless pride in it. The reason is plain. A pilot, in those days, was the only unfettered and entirely independent human being that lived in the earth. During his time traveling along the river, he continued supplying occasional stories and articles to various publications, including one that is believed to be the first that he signed as Mark Twain. <laughs>